Now to growing fallout over Oklahoma's new teacher bonus program. At least nine teachers initially approved for bonuses by the State Department of Education are now being told they must give that money back. Some are on the hook for up to $50,000. Now state lawmakers and Oklahoma's attorney general have begun to weigh in on the debacle. We're also hearing from more affected teachers. News Force Dylan Brown is here with the update. Dylan. Yeah, Kevin Heather, several lawmakers tell me this is not gonna fly. And the attorney general even saying he's concerned with how the Department of Education has handled this. If any individual lied throughout the process, we will claw back those dollars. That infuriates me, really. Another teacher who got approved for the teacher sign-on bonus now being told she must repay the state. Cable Horquez teaches special education for Epic Charter Schools. In addition, she was a caregiver for her mother who passed away in November. The money went to cover debt and care for her family. I put my life on hold to take care of my family and lived very meagerly. But because she was a certified teacher in 2022, she was told she would have to pay back the $50,000. The bonus is only for returning or new teachers. My first thought, I throw up <laughs> and I'm trying to keep myself from going into a panic, panic attack, which I've had four or five panic attacks since then. If the Department of Ed made a mistake, I think the Department of Ed needs to own the mistake. Republican lawmaker Mark McBride and others saying Friday they're looking at how to help or even hold OSDE accountable. They had the documentation and they okayed it. I mean, did they do their due diligence? Attorney General Gintner Drummond's office says they're concerned. Even the Senate Education Chairman Adam Pugh saying he wants it to where the teachers can keep the money. For them to put it back on the teachers, that's disgusting. Mahorquez says there's no way she'll have the money. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Yeah, in all, the state overpaid nearly $300,000 so far in teacher bonuses that shouldn't have. We asked Ryan Walters and OSDE what's next. Are payment plans allowed? Why they approve teachers who weren't supposed to be approved? They didn't answer any of those questions. Doubled down saying teachers lied on their applications.